Now it's time for us to check out the controversial video that landed two men in trouble, making them being referred to as pedophiles and having the social media say against them that they've been sexualizing young girls. After watching the video, one of them will be joining us in the studio to share exactly what he had in mind when he said what he said. But take a listen. Uh, uh, a case of rape and we Very talk good. about uh, oh, and, uh, 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 people living like pff, there's no tomorrow okay. sometimes you go to the mall and you see a child of five you see a child of seven wearing bomb shot yeah and okay. walking yeah. around okay and you see their parents there walking behind and like oh those are my kids yeah that's true sometimes what the the uh, uh, the, the five-year-old the ten-year-old the, the 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 seven-year-old is wearing it, it's revealing. It's, 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 it's I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you there. That's a child. If a child decides to wear a short, sorry. From, the, from, do you know yes. from that no, age? No, 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 do you know no, that no, from no, that no, age, no, children no, start, no, start developing? No, no, what are you talking own? about? Wait, no, no, a child. No. A child. A child at that is time. wearing shorts. The child is not a sexual being. The child is a child. How is a child a sexual being? You guys being? are the ones that are sexualizing no, that no, child. Look, look, look. The child is wearing shorts. Lolo, take it easy. Oh my God, I can't There's something you have to understand about human beings and what they see. And what they and when they see some things that they see, some some form of interpretation comes about. Isn't the way, there, isn't now, the problem the person that is interpreting a child? But it doesn't mean. Thing? But it doesn't mean we don't have that problem. That's what I'm saying here. The problem is already there. Why so make it worse? So what we should do is that so we because should... there's fire, we should like, should I put no? some, some so fuel in it? So your, your no, solution that. to that is to conform and make our girls, you know, conform to what's happening so that we can accept that. No, we're not saying behavior. that. We're not saying Instead that. Instead of tackling the people that shot, a child is not wearing bomb shot. Bomb shot, not shot. Bo bomb shot is business. When you go to the street, right. right. it doesn't, yeah, right. it doesn't, they it doesn't mean it's right. They are children and they are playing. Kids are allowed to play. Kids are allowed to be kids. They are not developing yet. Welcome back to the show. We can't take the full video, unfortunately, but that was a conversation that was had on Rafe TV. And Onyema Chinwete was one of the young men who was involved in that conversation. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Welcome. you for having me. So how long ago did that conversation happen? Uh, that's seven months ago. So, so how over, did it... Over seven months ago. Why is it now trending now? I seriously don't know, but uh, I know Lolo, that's a lady in the video, she's um, someone who advocates for um, you know, child rights and things, and we always talk about it. I give her my own side to it. I always try to support her and stuff. So I don't know if it was one of those, of one of her videos that she put up on YouTube and maybe someone, maybe gone to the wrong hands. Or I don't know if she was the one who did it intentionally, but I don't know. It just came up from nowhere. I really can't tell where it came up and from. And did you ask her, have you communicated with her since? Yes, started? I communicated with her, especially when it was becoming you know, negative on me and the guy, because on that day of the interview, after behind the scene, right, we had an agreement, we made us, we, there was like an understanding between us as regards the issue. I was explaining that I'm not sexualizing them, I'm just saying, let's protect. And she gave her own side to it and there was an understanding. So I reached out to her and I said, now this thing is coming out, is, is going out of hand. People are taking, are picking things out of context and are saying and calling us names. And I was like, don't you think you should do something like put up a video or something? But she was like, no, she's not going to do that. And, you know, she just kept, and she kept somehow, because there was a post afterwards that looked like she was still, like she, she, I don't explain now. It looked like she was happy about it, that, you know, trying to label us the valiant here, like she was the one who was the superhero. Okay, but if I may ask, what actually led to that conversation? I think, you know, it, because um, that section is what they call Let's Talk on the, on the talk show. So uh, we talk about trending topics and things like that. So I, if I can remember clearly, uh, there was something, something that had to do with maybe someone molesting someone or something. We were just talking about how parents should, you know, just try and do the best they can do. And that's when that conversation came about. All right, so now let's ask you. People yeah. have labeled you a pedophile on social media. Yeah. People have called you all sorts of names. Yeah. Why shouldn't they call you all these names? Because I'm not one. The video, the people don't have access to the full video. They only have access to a part of it where I made a line where I said, why are they not sexually, um, why are they not, um, why, why are they not, why are they not um, sexualized? Why should they not sexualize? Now, what I meant to say was, 25 years ago, we wouldn't be talking about something like this, but over the years, it has become rampant. So a pedophile, he's seen something else that normal human beings are not seen. I'm not a pedophile. I don't support anyone who's a pedophile. If you're a pedophile out there, you need help, you're sick, go and get help. However, we should protect our children the best way we can. So, are we saying now that when we're now shifting away the focus? We're not on shifting away. The men. The, 
this is not a, there's no there's no this is not about who's to blame we're not blaming anybody we're just saying let's block every hole possible okay the government tries as much as possible they get vehicles they get you know logistics to curb crime it doesn't stop it but it will still have to continue it's a preventive measure However, that we're talking about. Some people will argue that that is something that is enforcing a rape culture in Nigeria because I would say this because okay. we find that when there's abuse, we're always looking for what to put the blame on. So a guy abuses a girl and they say, What were you looking for in his house? What were you wearing? Why did you go there alone? So these are the things that we're trying to change. These are the stereotypes we're trying to work against. Yeah. So we're thinking that statements like that might enforce these stereotypes because a person abuses because he's an abuser, not because the girl is wearing a short, um, wearing shorts. So a pedophile would see a child that is fully clothed and would still abuse that child, regardless of what the child wears. I totally agree with you, and I'm not disputing that fact. There is, like I said before, there's really no excuse for anybody raping anybody. It is bad. I'm just saying, if we can do something like to it, a pedophile doesn't have a face. He doesn't have an identity. They're in homes, they're in offices, they're in places. We can't suspect them, so we can't even see them coming to say, okay, he's coming now, protect yourself. We're just saying, let us, let's just bring out, a, take a preventive measure, just to help anything, even if it's 1%, even if it has an effect of 1% on it, just to help out, because things have gotten out of hand, things are going crazy now in the world, everybody's just doing what they feel like. So it's just the, the best we can do, little we can do. Let's just do it. Okay, well, I saw the other guy in the conversation make yeah. a statement concerning, you know, like kids of four or five years old wearing shorts, you know, around the mall, even walking, while walking with their parents. Yeah. And it, everybody's question was, so are you saying kids can't dress in a fun way? Should that also, in a way, encourage this said pedophiles in question? Dress codes, well, the, like I said earlier, Pedophiles are sick people. We really, no, I mean, you really can't come into the mind of a pedophile. You can only try and guess and think about it. So it's only logical for you to say, okay, if as a grown man you're attracted to, a, to an older lady, probably because of the way she looks, maybe she's dressed in a certain way, maybe, just maybe, a pedophile, might, that might just be the same thing. I, I don't think we want to tell that line because it might further complicate issues. Because okay. the truth is it's that fine. It's fine. a man or a woman yeah. will abuse because they are an abuser, not by virtue of what you wear or what you do not wear. Because there are people who will be fully clothed that would still be abused. There are people who will be scantily dressed that would still be abused. So we need to take away the conversation from what were they wearing or what are they wearing to having, change, having to change the mindset of these men to know that you are not entitled to anybody's body who is underage. Yes. You're not ent entitled to anybody's body without their consent exactly. or without their permission. That should be the message we should focus on and push out there. I totally agree with you. We should ensure that pedophiles are treated well. But now the problem is... We, don't even, we can't even identify them, first of all. So who are we even treating? When who are we trying to... When you say we should ensure that pedophiles are uh, yes, when treated, you, when you how find, do you mean? When you, when you catch someone, when you find, when, someone, when, when your child complains that, oh, this person did this to me, the person is sick. He should be treated. Take it to a rehab. A psychiatrist should, should see the person. A shrink should attend to the person. The person needs help. Okay. Let's veer away from this conversation for a minute and okay. ask how this has impacted you since the moment the news on social media has broken. Yeah. You know, everybody has been calling you names. How yeah. has this affected you, hearing all the things people have to say about you and your co-host? It's been, it's, been, it's been hectic. At some point, I had to even put my account on private, but I put it back in public now because everybody just came, just came at me one time, you know. And because the video is not... You, you guys even have ac access to the full video. It's just a part of it. So I'm being judged for a part of a video. And everybody just comes out, calling me names, swearing for my unborn children, like raising curses on me. I guess the other guy got the same thing too, because it was really, it was really that crazy. For the first time in my life, I never got <laughs> such amount of comments on one post on my Instagram page, or got numerous calls from people that I haven't heard from in years, call me like I was getting, it was like, almost like it was like my birthday. Everybody was calling me from left to right. Everybody was calling and me. Do you think this has blocked some opportunities for you? Well, I hope it doesn't because um, I'm, I'm, I'm not what people think I am. I'm someone who, if, if, if a lot of people who have worked with me can, you know, attest to it that I'm someone who has a good heart. I'm a TV host, and so I intend to host big gigs, big shows. I want to impact people's life. And that's why I was saying, okay, let's just try and protect. I'm trying to do the little I can. I'm not, 
a pedophile. I'm not trying to say, oh, a pedophile is out there, he has an excuse. No, I'm not I saying that. I want to also imagine that you are trying to play good cop, bad cop, because sometimes to present intelligent television or interesting television, sometimes people decide to take opposing ends of an argument to ensure that there's, you know, it won't be fun if everybody's on the same side. Is that actually what happened? Uh, pa pa partly that, but I wouldn't really say it was free. It was a little bit of that, but to, at, at a point, uh, personal, you know, opinions are coming into it. Sort of, but yes, to, to an extent, it was a little scripted, yes, but at the same time, a personal opinion, so it was kind of mixed. Okay, okay. something kind of mixed. All right, so let's final, final thoughts. If yeah. you had the opportunity to sit down with every single person who has had that video and, like you say, misconstrued your intention, yeah. what would you say to them? First, I would say that um, I was misunderstood, I was taken out of everything, was taken out of context. I do not support anyone who's a pedophile out there, they're sick people. We sh they should, they sh there's no excuse for anybody out there to take advantage of a child. A child is a child. That's what it is. But, however, if you can do your only two parts and protect your child, if you can, just do it. Well, those are the words from him. You heard him. And I would like to reiterate the fact that we need to kick against abusers and we need to kick against any mindset that would encourage rape culture. Let's push a lot of information out there against abusers. We need to let them know what actually constitutes abuse. We mm -hmm. need to let them know that you cannot touch someone without their permission or take sexual advantage of them. You cannot at any point abuse someone and then blame it on wh what they were or how they look or where you found them or the fact that you were drunk or they were drunk. All these are yeah. stupid abuse, stupid excuses, excuses that we must not allow to prevail because the more that we allow them to stay, the more we are encouraging a rape culture in Nigeria and that is something we're totally against. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for, sorry, for having me. All right. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.